Right. In this box, we have the new DJI FPV combo. Finally. I just want to start out by saying that I bought this drone on my own, so I'm not sponsored by DJI. I spent my own money, and also that I'm not a professional FPV pilot. I mean, I know some tricks, but I'm by no means Johnny FPV. Please, Lord, make me Johnny FPV. I pray to the gods of drone photography. Make me Johnny FPV. I'm gonna need to practice a lot to get to there. Right, with this box out of the way, let's get started. In the box, basically, what you're getting is everything you need to fly FPV, which is a stark contrast to what usually happens in FPV world, where you have to put all sorts of things together and then something doesn't work. Here, everything works out of the box. So you get the drone, you get the controller, and you get the goggles. You also get batteries for the goggles, you get batteries for the remote, and you get one battery for the drone. You also get two sets of propellers, so eight propellers, and all sorts of cables that you might need for this. Now, if you're gonna do some real flying, you're gonna need more than one battery, and there is a kit of two batteries and a serial charger available on DJI's site, but it's currently out of stock, so this is everything I have. What you're gonna definitely wanna get is the DJI Care Refresh or Care Refresh Plus because you're gonna break this drone if you're gonna fly it as it's intended to be flown. Who's this drone made for then? This is a perfect beginner FPV drone, so if you wanna get started with the FPV, this is the way to go. It's the only all-in-one solution for FPV flying and, and for beginners that's just amazing. Because usually getting into FPV is not as easy as you would think. You need to know how to solder, you need to know, you know, you need to be quite technical uh, to put everything together and there's just a lot of things that might not work and it's just frustrating to start. With this, however, you won't have any such problems. Right, so when you open the box, you need to connect everything together and you need to set it up, which is really, really simple. Basically, you just turn on all three devices, connect the goggles with the phone app, with the DJI Fly, then the app will guide you through the whole process. I will say one thing though, in the beginning, I had to do a ton of firmware updates and I didn't charge the batteries in my goggles fully and it just discharged, so I had to repeat the firmware update process and it took me like three hours because of that. So just make sure your batteries are fully charged before you start the whole process. That's gonna make it much easier. Right, before you start flying, you have to set the propellers up and they're color coded. Makes it really easy to understand which propeller fits where. The whole mechanism is really simple. It's similar to the Phantom. You just put the propeller on and you turn it and it's on as opposed to other FPV drones where you have to tighten the screw and it just takes a little more time because if you're gonna be flying this drone you're gonna be breaking propellers. What I really like about this drone is that everything connects really simply. There's no loose parts, it's just one coherent piece of technology. Usually with the FPV drones you have the separate batteries and you have to tighten them and then the cables can get loose and the battery is all wobbly. In here there's no such problems which is really good especially for beginners. So what this drone offers is basically three modes of flying. The first one is the normal mode, which is just your standard DJI mode made for, you know, complete newbies. You don't have to know anything. It's GPS guided. It uses the sensors. And overall, it's just really, really simple to fly this drone in normal mode. Then you have the sport mode, which is also pretty simple, but it disengages the sensors and it goes much faster and also tilts. So you get a little bit of that FPV experience. The reason you would want to get this drone is of course manual or the full FPV mode. And we'll get into that a little bit later. So when I first started the drone, I started in normal mode to see how it works and how it flies. It's a dream to fly. It's just as any other DJI drone. Also sport mode works just fine. But it's, it's again, it's not why you would wanna get this drone. Why you would wanna get this drone is of course the manual mode or the FPV, the full FPV mode, the acro mode if you wanna. And by default that option is of course not available. They don't want you breaking your drone out of the gate. So what you have to do is go into the menu and turn on the manual mode. Now this still won't allow you to go full manual mode. You'll still have to disengage one more parameter in the settings for it to be fully manual without restrictions. Which also of course means yeah, you can crash this drone. In all the regular DJI drone modes, the sticks recenter after you let go of them, but in the manual FPV mode, that's not how it works. Your throttle stick shouldn't recenter. So that's why in the controller there's this trick where you open the back panel and you tighten F1 and F2 screws. That allows you 
to disengage the spring so the throttle doesn't jump back to the center. And that's how you'll be able to fly full manual. The good thing about DJI is that they made all of these tutorials available through their videos on YouTube. I'll link them down below, but it's, it's basically really simple and it's really stupid proof, so you can't go wrong. Boy, does this drone go fast. I mean, manual mode is where this drone excels. You can do power loops, you can do rolls, you can do whatever your skill level allows you to because it's not easy to fly this drone. It's, it has got plenty of power and it's really, it's stable in flight. However, I do have some issues. This chunkster right here is a heavy drone. My Titan XL5 that I've been flying for the past couple of months is also not a light beast. It's, it's about the same weight when fully loaded, but this one has way more power and it's way more stable in flight. So for cinematic stuff, I'd say this one is actually better. If you already have something like that, I wouldn't recommend going with the DJI FPV. I think the tune of the drone, I don't like it as much as I like the Titan XL. And this one also has way less power. So if you're coming from a like powerhouse <laughs> FPV drone, I think you're gonna be disappointed by the DJI. Don't get me wrong, this is still a really good drone. It's really powerful, still has all the power that you need, but I think there's plenty better options for freestyle flight. A big advantage of this drone, however, is the battery life. Usually with the FPV drones, you'd get like five minutes of battery life with this one as well, five minutes max. But with this drone, if you're flying it easy, you get 20 minutes. But realistically, when you're gonna be pushing it, it's gonna be closer to 10 minutes, sometimes even less. But the good thing about DJI and their implementation of the system is that it tells you how many minutes of battery you still have left. And if your battery drops under 5%, it'll just automatically land, which beats this drone falling out of the sky anytime. DJI have also updated their goggles with version two. And this is one thing that you're not gonna be disappointed with. Because this drone uses just one camera, instead of two, the, the feed in the goggles is crystal clear. Like you can see everything, every single strain of grass that you fly by, you'll see. It's much better than the previous system, even like the DJI FPV goggles version one. Transmission seems to work better with these goggles. I also had no issues with range. I tested it up to about two kilometers. I didn't see any noticeable lag or, or frame drops or even quality drops in the goggles. Apparently it's supposed to go up to 10 kilometers. I haven't had the time to really test it and push it yet. What I absolutely love about this new system is that in the goggles, you always know where your home point is because it's always shown. So when you're flying, you can easily tell where you're at and where's your home. When doing FPV, you can so easily get lost. And I think that's hands down one of the best features of this drone. This drone offers a camera on a single gimbal axis, on a single axis, on a simple, on a single axis gimbal. Offers a camera on a single axis gimbal. Yeah, that's correct. And I'd say that the quality is on par with like a DJI Mavic Pro. It does 4K 60, 4K 50, and then full HD up to 120 frames per second. Weirdly, it doesn't let you shoot in 24 or 30 frames per second, which I thought was really weird, but personally, I'm not bothered by it. And I also heard they're gonna add it in a firmware update. In the goggles, you can set all the camera parameters that you want, but I just, decided to leave it on auto, it's way easier and it works well. They have also included their stabilization and it's really good. Straight out of the camera, the quality of the image is nice and there's no shake. A real good selling point because with the GoPro you usually had to stabilize your footage in real steady, which did a fantastic job but it just took a real, real long time. I do think that the GoPro quality with the real steady is still superior than this one but the workflow is just so much faster. One of the best assets of this pack is this thing, that's the DJI controller. Besides the fact that it's really tiny and it fits perfectly in your hands, it's like an Xbox or PlayStation controller. It also has many useful features such as return to home, mode switching, you have the gimbal position buttons, you have the record button and also start stop. You also have this custom button. I know that mode switching is available on other controllers, but the ability to go from full manual mode to normal mode, uh, which stops your drone and uses GPS to stabilize it, I think that's a real good selling point, especially again for beginners. But this is useful for everybody actually. DJI has also built a simulator for you to practice. You just connect uh, your phone with the goggles and you turn on the controller and you can crash your drone in virtual reality. Of course, I didn't try this because um, Yo YOLO. Right, now, as you can see, I mostly like this drone, 
but there are also some bad things that I really don't like about this drone. A couple of the things I've already talked about, such as this drone not being as finely tuned as I would like and that the fact that there is not a lot of customization options. With these drones, you can basically tweak everything in beta flight. You can, you can tweak all the parameters you would ever want. But with this one, you get a limited set of options that you can explore. I also don't like that people who are already invested in FPV are not gonna be able to use this drone with their existing gear. Even if you have DJI goggles version one, they look pretty much exactly the same as this ones. You're not gonna be able to use them with this drone. So you need the specific second generation of the goggles. The same thing goes for the controller. You can only use this controller to fly this drone and you can't use this controller to control any of your other drones, which is a big departure from what we're used to in the FPV world, where you can use any controller for pretty much anything. So these two features make the whole set a lot less appealing for people who are already heavily invested in the FPV world. I also dislike the fact that there's no carrying case for this. You just get the box and that's it. For the goggles, for example, you don't even get a bag. If you get the version one of the goggles, you will get a bag with it. And here, you don't have a bag. So you're pretty much forced to buy a bag that DJI conveniently sells for 100 and something euros. It's a lot of money. I'm also very skeptical of how this drone will perform when crashed. I've seen a couple of videos online that crashed their drone. And even though DJI said we'll be able to switch parts easily, they're still gonna be probably more expensive than this right here. If you break the housing of this drone, the replacement parts are really cheap. You do have to know how to solder, but it's still way cheaper to crash this drone than the DJI drone. So, what do I think of this drone? As I said, I'm a hobby FPV pilot. I'm not an expert. I actually quite enjoy this drone. I've only spent a couple of batteries in the air because it's so new, but I really like the simplicity of use of this drone. I just I don't have to think about anything. I just go out and fly. Charging the batteries is made simple. I just like how the whole package handles. It's a machine made for really fast turnaround times and I really like that. The fact that DJI came out with this means there's a market for this and if DJI enters the game, usually others will follow, which means that we'll get more options in the FPV world, which I also think is fantastic. If you're already invested in the FPV world, I don't think it's gonna make much sense for you to go this route, especially for the price that it's going for, as you have to buy the whole set and not just parts that you can add. Let's hope DJI makes this available with other controllers or other goggles, because that would just mean that more people can enter the FPV world. If you're a beginner though, I would really recommend this drone if you want to get into the FPV world. You're not going to want to use this drone for landscape shots. If you want to do that, go with a Mavic or any other drone that's not an FPV drone. But if you're a beginner wanting to start the FPV world, this is a right drone for you. There's one particular niche of people that are going to like this drone and that's if you're doing a lot of mountain diving and, you know, reach flying. I think this drone is amazing because it apparently offers an extended range that is going to work really well. It's fast. Um, so if you're doing something like that and if you're following, I don't know, bikers through the woods, if you're not doing too much freestyle, this drone is also going to be good for you. Keep in mind that if you are really going to be flying this drone, the price that's listed online for just the DJI FPV combo is not the price you're going to end up paying because you're going to need some extra batteries, a bag, you're going to need DJI Care Refresh, definitely, and probably some more minor stuff that will just come along. Just be aware of that. Yeah. I really like this drone. I'm gonna be flying it a lot. I'm gonna be testing it a lot. If you wanna see some more stuff from me, let me know down in the comments. Let's fly this sucker. I still don't have an outro.